Shakti Fund for all the wonderful work that they do. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Vora, Dr. Pat Shah, uh, Dr. Jitender Shah, um, for all the hard work and all the work that the entire Shanti Fund uh, does in our community. In reflecting upon this International Day of Nonviolence, I would like to take time to think about uh, Mahatma Gandhi and his teachings. You know, today, uh, it's a, we live in a very rough world today. If you read the news or watch TV, you can see there's so much violence in our world today. There seems to be a real lack of respect for people's basic rights. Gandhi's principles of nonviolence and respecting your fellow human being has extended beyond his life. Now, we're talking about a man that lived uh, for many of the young people a long time ago. So if you think about it, Gandhi's principles of nonviolence and respecting your fellow man has extended to our time, whether it's the uh, civil rights movement in the United States in the 1960s, or the end of apartheid uh, via Mandela in South Africa, or the uh, nonviolent protests that are happening today in Hong Kong. We know that the way of peace and the idea of nonviolence transcend time, history, and ethnicity. The Shanti Fund promotes the principles of Gandhi and of nonviolence by instilling these values in our community and in our schools. If each one of us today could personally turn a personal conflict within ourselves, within our family, within our community into a resolution, into, uh, into something to uh, kind of fix and be a light to this world, and we go out of our daily way to help someone else in need, we may be able to cause a real change here on Long Island. Now, we always talk about changing the world, but if we can just change where we live, I think it would be a great start. Um, Gandhi's words are applicable today. If everyone takes an eye for an eye, the whole world would go blind. I celebrate the spirit of nonviolence with all of you today by asking that we all pledge a simple pledge, which is to try to affect five other people's lives and our own personal lives positively, whether it's uh, members in our family or members in the community. I think it would be uh, something that we can all do, and uh, I see a lot of great people here in the audience, and if we just start that movement of just trying to uh, better the people around us, I think it will go a long way to improve all of us around um, in Long Island. So thank you again for this great honor, uh, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.